Alright guys, let's bring in uh, two clips from my timeline. So my first clip will be the fireworks. Okay, so on the fireworks, it's very straightforward. Alright, my second clip will be the footage I got from uh, from recording. So let me just cut this really quick. Okay, now we have our two clip. Now, before I do anything, let's uh, let's figure out where. So hold on, let me grab the two sound. But uh, it's it's not uh, it's not connected. But uh, I just want to show show the purpose. So let's just say right here. Uh, let's just say right here is where I want the transition to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. Okay, so on this clip, it's pretty much uh, a clip of um, of the car driving forward. You could walk if you want to. You can, you know, whatever you want. So as long as you got like a, a decent length of footage. Now what you want to do, you could either stable it, so I could just go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to add. Uh, you should always color correct your uh, your footage first before you do anything. So I just do a simple, hold on. Simple saturation and, and some uh, contrast. Okay, so let's just say you're done with your coloring, okay. So the next thing you want to do is... Um, Stabilize it. So I'm just gonna stabilize it. Okay, I'm gonna choose scenery and I'm gonna do 25, and then I'm just gonna stabilize it. All right. So once you have your footage stabilized, you can go ahead. Just go over to your uh, edit tab. Now on your edit tab, um, so it depends how you you could go forward or you could go backward if you want. Okay, but I decided to make it a little bit interesting, so I'm gonna go backward. So my idea was um, the fireworks start, and then I'm just gonna zoom back from the street. So just like what you saw in the video earlier. So what I do is just right click, go down to uh, speed, change speed, uh, change clip speed. Okay, and then uh, make sure you have this check and this check, and then uh, you can put on reverse. Or you just type in, for me, I already know my number, you could start off with 5,000 or 4,000. For me, I think it looks best at 6,000. That's just for me on this clip. Okay. Okay, now, uh, before you change the speed, let's go back to 100. Maybe 100. Okay, before you change to to you know negative 6,000 or so speed, you want to speed with with the footage. So what I did was um I animate this. So all I did was just uh, load the opacity. Okay, like this much. Okay, starting from uh, frame one. I make sure the top clip is clip. Just uh, put a key frame here and here. Okay, you have a key frame on this one and this one. And then go to the end of the clip. Okay, you at the end of the clip. Alright, so I just bring it down and match maybe like this part right here. Bring, bring like really, really. Like like that, so it's kind of like you moving away from that spot there. So by here, it just disappeared, you know. Okay, so now once you're done with that, let's bring this back up. Once you're done with that, it should look something like this. Okay, now uh, let's uh, let's color grade this part here because I kind of want it to be dark 
tonight. So I'm gonna go over to uh, this one here. Okay, on on this uh this clip here, on the third uh, corrector. This um just go to the first of the frame. Uh, the first uh the first frame, and then add a, a keyframe on the third corrector, which is this one right here. Okay, add a keyframe there, and then go over to your gain, lower it down. So you notice it, it's turning dark and then add a keyframe when you make changes. So I'm gonna go, not too dark, but uh, but dark enough. Okay, you can check that later. Um, you don't want to have short duration because you know, once you're showing the clip, you're not gonna have much frame to, to work on. So you won't really see the darkness turn into light. So it's better you at least go down to at least to the more than half, at least more than half, or maybe like 60%. And from here, just bring it back up. You don't have to do this, but like I said, for the purpose of my video, I want it to be dark tonight. I mean, night to today. Okay, so I now have the animation done. As you can see, it go further, it's dark, and then as you reach to 60%, it become light, okay? That's just one part I'm gonna do. Now the second part is uh, it's the actual uh, the firework clip cutout. This cutout right here. Now I wanna at least like blend. So first I'm gonna go to uh, here and then I'm gonna go add. Actually, you don't have to add. Just just leave as normal. Let's go back to our coloring tab. Okay, on our coloring, let's just add a uh, uh, a power window. Okay, and then just 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 bring it so it it's kind of like soften. Let's make it closer. Okay, so this part is pretty much like soften out. That way, you know, you don't have too much showing. And then you go right click and add an alpha output. And then it should like, you know, clear out that box and make it soften. And you could work on it, you know. But since it's so fast, you barely notice it. So you don't have to worry too much about that. But you just want to get the idea that you kind of zoom away from it. So let's go back to our editing tab. Okay, you have something like this. It's not perfect. You can work on it. But I just want to get the idea across. Um, so from now, I want to... To animate this at one, one piece. So I'm going to have to... Um, Combine these two together. Okay, I'm gonna right click and make create new compound clip. Now we have a uh, one one piece. Okay. Okay. So from here, let's change this to negative uh, six thousand. By putting a negative sign, it's automatic change it into uh, reverse. Actually, this is really on reverse, so I'm gonna do 6,000. Okay, right now I don't have to do on reverse no more, but whenever there's a negative sign, it's change into reverse. So it sh everything should be. Okay. Um, now, what you want is, is the blur. Um, so, it's very simple. All you have to do is just go to your coloring. Make sure this clip is highlight. Okay, on your coloring, just go down and add a uh, note by holding uh, OS. Okay, and then on your note, let's bring this right here. Uh, you know, go down to zoom blur, 
and just drag it in and then go down to your setting and then figure out how strong you want your blur to be okay let's just bring this up here all right notice the blur right here you can adjust how strong you want the blur to be uh, let's just say I'm happy with this part right here so let's go to the beginning of the clip now from here I want to have everything else blur but in the middle I want it to be clear so it look kind of like look kind of tricky so let's just bring in a power window just click on to this tab here and then bring in the power window and if you don't see the power window, just go down to here and then go to power window. Now we have a power window here. Now you notice this part is blur, but this part is not blur. Okay, so you just have to invert it. Now this part is blur and this part is kind of clear. Okay, so what I want to do now is find a spot that I want, um, I'll just say right here. And I wanna okay, here really quick. And let's just feather this. Okay, like about right here. So you zoom out. You can always adjust it. You don't if you're not happy with that part, you just go adjust it here. Yeah, I think this is fine. There you have it. This part is. Let's go to the element tab so you can see it. You see this part? It's kind of clear. And then everything else. Maybe have it bigger so you can see better. Let me go back to our coloring. Let's adjust it bigger. Bring it up to right there. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it. Now all you have to do now is just render it. So I hope this video helped. I see you guys next time.